Objective complete. Number 10, we have Snowbreak. So this game is similar to Aethergazer or PGR, but you are using a gun and you have to play it manually. This game is super cool and what I like about this game is that the animation is gorgeous. Visuals, of course, it is super gorgeous. There's nothing like this in the market right now. And the combat, man, it is so responsive. It feels so fucking good to shoot people in this game and yes, it has a PC client, so download the PC and you can play with 120 FPS in this game with max graphic settings. Number 9, Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis. You cannot deny that this game is so stunning, visually stunning. And if you are a fan of Final Fantasy 7, you will want to play this game. And this mobile game or gacha game is quite a big budget game. Square Enix does put in a lot of effort into the visual department. But the gameplay, mm, I mean, it is debatable. I mean, I do like it because the auto system is quite nice. But then again, if you play it manually, it is kind of one dimensional, if you know what I mean. So it's not the best strategy game or like real time strategy game. But it can keep you company for like maybe a month, two months. And the story in this game is quite nice because you will know the history of Sephiroth. So that is super cool. Yeah. Number 8, Black Clover M. Well, this took me by surprise because I thought this game was bad or a generic anime gacha game, but it's not. It is surprisingly a big budget game. Just take a look at the animation, the gameplay. I mean, it is a simple turn-based RPG game, but they put in a lot of effort into making this one. Right, you can tell from just the visuals. It is so good. And the quality of life in this game is top tier, man. I kid you not. This game makes the grind super, super easy. Even though I know it will be super grindy playing this game because, you know, anime gacha game, you gotta milk the fans, right? <laughs> Jokes aside, it is a good game. High quality visuals, high quality animation, and high quality audio for a mobile game or a gacha game. So give this game a try. I know you will enjoy it. And of course, high quality, quality of life. Number 7, Outer Plane. Now, people do shit on this game because they say it is kind of like a smaller budget Epic 7 because it is made by the same developer of Epic 7. But just take a look at this one. I don't know, man. I like it. It has its own charm. It has a 3D anime style. You know, it's impactful. The character design is amazing. The art style, it's like a 3D old gacha game and it feels so nostalgic playing this game. The gameplay also has a bit of a quirks here and there, a good system like a link attack and whatnot. So that is quite nice. I mean, it is a step up from Epic 7 in my opinion because you know, Epic 7 is just a simple turn-based RPG, but this one it's not. So give this game a try, please. And it is on Google Play Games Beta. It is basically a PC client, even though it is something like an emulator because it plays really well, super smooth. Yeah, give this game a try, please. And the quality of life in this game is, again, top notch. I like gacha games with good quality of life, so this is one of the games. Number 6, Dragon Air Silent Gods. Once again, this game took me by surprise. I didn't know it was releasing, and suddenly, it popped up in my YouTube feed. And I was like, damn, this game is good. What the hell is this game? So it is a gacha game, and it is on mobile and PC, and of course, it's on Steam. The graphics in this game is high quality. Animation, of course, is also high quality. It is not an anime style gacha game with all the crazy visual effects, but it is simple. 
it is good it is so clean and it is just fun to watch and of course the art style in this game it is a Baldur's Gate 3 art style who doesn't like Baldur's Gate and not to mention that this game is an open world game well it is a semi open world game like Honkai Star Rail but it is still fun for the quality of life I think it's not the best but it does works quite well in this game so yeah give this game a try you can play this game manually or you can auto it it's up to you and it is really good and simple so I do recommend you guys to try this game out see if you like it or not number five cat fantasy super excited when this game was announced, it is gonna have a soft launch in Southeast Asia region and I was like, hell yeah! This game has a PC client, so as you can see from the gameplay, I played this on my PC and it looks super good, super clean. I like the art style they are doing here. It's vibrant but also apocalyptic in a way, so it is very unique in my opinion. Gameplay is quite simple, you know, it's the turn-based RPG with a card system. For me, it is quite nice, they are trying to do something new and unique. But I know some people will always complain about the gameplay, it is super basic and whatnot, but hey, at least they are trying to do something new in here. So Cat Fantasy, it is still in a soft launch state uh, for Southeast Asia region. I don't know about the other part of the world because I don't really care, to be honest with you. And of course, this game is a fun game to play. Hopefully, you guys can enjoy this game too. Number 4, Brown Dust 2. This game has a lot of fan service. And yeah, I am playing it for that. <laughs> okay. Jokes aside, this game looks amazing. The 2D art style in this game, probably the best in the market. The gameplay is a great turn-based RPG. Even though they are trying to do something new, let's be real here, you're gonna play this with auto. And the visuals in this game is no doubt amazing. As you can see just from the visual effects when they hit the enemy, the impactfulness in this game, top tier. Even if it is only a 2D gacha game. Music is also super good and damn. This game's voice acting, man. I'd say it is better than Honkai Star Rail or Genshin Impact or any other MiHoYoVerse game. So give this game a try if you do like a good voice acting and a good story. And of course, a good and a lot of fan service. Number 3, Aether Gazer. Yeah, this game is released this year, surprisingly. I thought it was like a year back. So if you do like PGR, then this game plays quite similar to that game. But in this game, you get to play with your teammates or your members. Unlike PGR where you just play solo. But you can also play solo in this game. I mean, there's nothing much to say here because if you do like PGR, then you will probably like Aether Gazer. The difference between Aether Gazer and PGR is and it's only probably the gameplay, the use of the skills because in PGR, you need an orb to gain a skill and in this one, you just need to click it and there you go. It will go on cooldown and you can use it again. So enjoy Aether Gazer if you do like PGR. Number 2, Reverse 1999. Yeah, this game, man, is one of the most anticipated game in the market. I played this game for the first time and I thought it was kind of boring and whatnot. But apparently, if you progress farther and farther, um, it is not. It is not boring at all. I mean, the mechanics is there. The turn-based system is not one-dimensional. If you do like turn-based system, then I think this game is for you. With the visually stunning 2D art style in this game and the chibi one at that, man, how can you not love this game? Voice acting is also super nice. It has a British accent to it. It is quite funny because, you know, British. <laughs> and to top it all off, the story in this game is where it's at. People in the gacha community, 
they are complimenting a lot for the story in this game so if you do like a good gacha game story this one needs to be on your list and you have to play it <laughs> Number one, of course, it is Honkai Star Rail. Amazing art style, a simple yet satisfying gameplay mechanics for a turn-based system, and a good quality of life. God damn, man, this game got it all. But I have to be honest with you, this game lacks in end game content. And if you do want to get your primos or you know your in-game cash currencies, you can only get it by achievements and dailies. And the dailies are quite boring if you do it every fucking day. Audio is super good. Art style, amazing. Graphics, visuals, amazing. Gameplay, super nice, satisfying, simple. And the story is interesting. And the voice acting, it is super nice. But it has a bit of a pauses between dialogues. That is where I don't like it. But overall, this game is just top notch high quality and that is why people pay for this gacha game and that is the end of the list hope you guys enjoy have a nice day and of course keep on gambling i'm, I'm joking i'm joking okay it's a gacha game joke please don't don't gamble please <laughs>